never get easier to look at. The limitations of your bodies disgust me. Grab me the scissors. At this very moment, you might think of yourself as unlucky, but I am here to tell you that you are actually privileged. Privileged to be part of my operations. You'll die as part of something greater than yourself, not some loser that nobody will remember. Those aren't the scissors. How many times do I have to you, you must waste our resources. You think Trivalium grows on trees? Well, you're getting repurposed. I'm a surgeon of my word. I won't hurt you. I'm not after saving me from your own doing. That said, the choice to volunteer for me will always be available. I implore you to consider the opportunity. In any case, we have much more important matters to discuss. Follow me. A friend of mine and yours filled me in on most of the action that happened on the floors above. They mentioned a nosy human parent being involved. Sound familiar? Listen, I was trusted with the final piece of the scepter, and I do not plan on breaking this trust. And to achieve that, I need your help. Look at the destruction around you. This was all done with an incomplete scepter in a matter of seconds. A full scepter in the hands of Dadadu is the guaranteed death of all of us. Let's make sure it doesn't come to that. And luck might just be on our side. I imagine that at this point you're familiar with this green specimen of incredible size and strength drawn on the board. It attacked our city a few hours ago. Most likely because it's either too scared to stay in the dark, or because the naughty ones and Sir Dadadu aren't leaving it alone. And how are we lucky that we got attacked, you ask? My plan just happens to involve recapturing the Green Gorilla, and using it to fight Sir Dadadu's army, and reclaim the scepter to its rightful owners. Problem is, the Green Gorilla has vanished after the attack and I've been trying to find it since. And it's too dumb for Dadadu's powers to work on it, so I'm not too concerned about that. It's just a matter of finding this beast, imprisoning it, and releasing it when the time is right. Oh, that reminds me. I have just a thing for you. 
Let's see what my assistants have prepared for us, shall we? I introduce to you Remote 2.0, a name I totally didn't make on the spot. Take it. It's all yours. Oh, I see a pathetic piece of equipment like your old remote, and the tinkerer inside me goes crazy. Let's put it to the test. <laughs> 